Hey guys, thank you for playing for 306 for a new community, and today I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown on how to pick your army for different maps. Because, Kumo Brad talked this over a little bit in, in their big guide they wrote, but I thought doing it visually might help. If I'm going to go on a map like Caucasus, I will want to take an army similar to, mm, let's see. Somewhere to something like this, okay? You want three, um, three to four art, probably. Um, you want a couple elite units, and me, I like to have six people in my army, six infantry units. You always want to take four cav, I mean, not four cav, but four light infantry in a map like this. With the money left, left over you have, you want to stock up on some heavy cav. You can take three heavy cab if you like, and that will leave money open to like take this elite unit, take get more more of an elite army. You can do that if you like. I prefer a four cab, but it's what's up to you. Now, an army like this is viable on just like any of the maps with uh, low rolling hills, kinda. They're not just really hilly and rugged. Um, an, an army also like. Like uh, this can be completely viable too. Um, you can go and do an army like this with maybe maybe you want to go and have seven line infantry units. You can do this right here, and so you still have enough for some elites. Cool, right? You can do that with two artillery. And if you want, want more elite infantry, just switch out some heavy cav for less heavy cav. Um, let's see. Also, um, in that type of way, you can also, let's say I want to, I'm really already heavy, I'm already love it, let's say that. You can go with four artillery if you like, and try to, if you do end up doing four Already, you're probably gonna have to cut back on your line just a little bit. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to take one of these guys away and replace them with that. I still don't have enough, so I'm gonna have to do it all. And now I can get another Kirache. So there you go. If you're gonna want four artillery, you're gonna have to end up like this. The choice is up to you. Now, if we're talking, though, if we're talking a more rugged map, like Homestead with all the nobles and hills and stuff, or maybe, let's see, the Syrian Ridge, you are going to want to take an army similar to, let's see, no, that's probably not a good thing. Okay, yeah, you're going to want an army similar to Um, this. Now I should have pointed out that actually the army you take for Syrian Ridge and the army you take for Homestead will be a little different because they're slightly different maps. So if I'm going to fight on, say, Syrian Ridge, you're going to want all howitzers because the Syrian Ridge has a big lump in the middle. I mean, not a lump, but a ridge. And you're going to want to be able to fire over that. So you're probably going to want to bring all howitzers. And let's see, you're going to want four light infantry again. And with the money you have left over, you can go get some calf. Now, you could make do with three calf. Some people want to do four. And if, you, if you're going to make do with uh, three calf, go ahead and get some more swift guards, please. Because that will help you. If you want to do a four calf army, you're going to have to... Take some howitzers because you know it's a big ridge in the middle of the map. You, you probably want to go down the size to Curacier from Guard to Core. Maybe take that, a Swift Guard, a Buckley, and you're going to want to. Hopefully, you can bring thick infantry, but if you can't, so you don't have quite enough. So, what can I do? I can, well, I can downsize from Swift to a Buckley, and I'll have enough for another trolley air unit. With that, you probably want to buff the bulkily up just a little bit, and maybe buff your lineup if you choose that army. I'm just giving you guys guidelines. You are in no way bound to follow my advice. Probably shouldn't on some occasions. Okay, so, but remember how I said the homestead was different? Okay, if you are going homestead, you 
do not have to bring such a big army. This is a tight, close map. So in Homestead, you want your three houses. Um, my friend Kuma Lauf you sometimes bring four, but I'm bringing three. Then you want to go grab a couple of Bulkleys and the line. In this map, you only need three lights. And you only need three can be cab. There you go. Boom. You have, I think, yeah, see, there you go. See? For this map, you want a heavy elite army, and if you like, you can buff up your remaining units. So, I just thought I'd post this off the top of my head just to give you guys some ideas of what maps and uh, units would get on them. Um, you can feel free to mix and match on your own. I'm in no way saying it's the only thing you should do, but it's good because a lot of the more elite people in our group build like this. So, um, let's say, uh, what's one map I haven't done yet? Hmm, I think I got them all. I mean, these are all the basic guidelines for the two types of maps we have here. Well, I hope this has helped you guys, and I didn't have much preparation for this, so it may, may look a little shabby, I just did off the top of my head, so, um, Hope you guys enjoyed this, and feel free to leave any questions in the comments section. This has been Player for 306 with a new community, and I'm out.